Hey Aquarius, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal readings, the tarot decks that I'm using, as well as links to all my extended readings are in the description box below. Also, if you're interested to participate in my triple three giveaways, I'm giving away a couple of tarot decks, tarot and oracle decks. It's my way of saying thank you to everybody who has supported me to bring this channel up to 30k over subscribers in just a couple of months. So if you are willing to participate in the um, giveaways, I have the video link in the description box below as guidance on how to join. Okay? So all the relevant information about my channel and about me are in the description box. All right, let's go ahead and do your reading, Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Knight of Wands. Nine of Coins. Ace of Swords. Strength. Queen of Swords. Page of Swords, Five of Coins, Ten of Wands, Six of Swords. King of Swords and the Magician. At the bottom of the deck you have the Eight of Coins. Aquarius, what do we have here? All right, so nothing is concrete right now. Nothing is concrete. No communication perhaps for some of you. Um, no communication here. Mm. When I say nothing is concrete, I'm talking about uh, commitment. Nothing is being communicated. Nothing is being committed. Things are all up in the air. It feels like you are doing what you want to do in your day-to-day -day life as well as your person. Um, this could very well be um, that you are separated and you are... I feel that both of you are out in the dating scene or just doing what you feel is making you happy for the day yeah on your side Aquarius I see that you're still too much up in your head thinking about just ab about anything about about your concerns about doubts about fears there's a lot of anxiety I see here yeah primarily too because you're really wanting to have a new beginning in life a new shot in life but I feel that there's no clarity to whatever situation you're in right now. There's a lot of scare, mostly anxiety and stress I see. Yeah, and lack of clarity and lack of um, insight as well as lack of truth about a situation that you're keen of knowing. Mm -hmm. And perhaps you're just putting your your time and effort at work or anything that could give you um, material income or you know earnings or work basically this would be work business or your work yeah you're putting a lot of time on that focusing on that because it feels like in terms of love it's just giving you anxiety yeah but as well as it doesn't stop you from being that knight of wands it doesn't stop you from possibly if there's a chance for you to you know meet other people and have fun for the moment you would take that your person has probably become a little bit um, strict stern yeah it feels like your person has gotten some sort of realization as well as clarity of the matter of what's going on between the two of you they have put down their swords 
their sword and possibly this is a person saying that if I don't get the truth of the matter, then that's it. They, this is a person who at some point may have been receptive. You know, the Queen of Swords is a receptive energy of truth. They're receptive to hear the truth, receptive to um, to just whoever who would come their way and um, with honesty. But this being a challenge, that means that this person is not able to get the truth that they want. They're not getting it from this connection, whatever this is that you have. They feel that um, they are being treated unfairly. This is a person who feels like uh, they're being lied to. And they're giving that inner strength to be um, to keep themselves balanced. Possibly this could also be someone who is holding back from you. Because again, there's no trust here. Okay. They see that you could probably be communicating with um, or checking them out online. That's a possibility. That's how they see you. They see you, Aquarius, as someone who is wanting to get information possibly about them or this is just you um, checking or getting information from about other people on your own way. Page of Swords is wanting information. This could be in a form of um, searching people online to get what they want or to get the information that they want. This could also be somebody who is checking options online so they could have you know, some form of enjoyment for the moment. And that's how this person sees you. Mm -hmm. But um, your person, Aquarius, I feel you're dealing with an air as well. Because this is a pretty much a tough energy. This person has kind of clarity with what's going on, even if probably at some point you have... Because this person feels like they don't get the truth of the matter. If ever you communicated with them, this person feels that they always get the half-truth of things, and that is burdening this person. Yeah? That's, that's giving them a lot of burden, and it's very exhausting for this person. This person wants some form of truth from you. For whatever reason, they feel that you are not telling them the truth, for whatever that means. Mm-hmm. They feel that everything with you is so flighty. Everything with you probably is just a game on your side. They feel that you are not being authentic, the authentic you when, they com when you communicate to them or when you even face them. They don't see that authentic side of you. They see the fun side, that you trying to be fun, you trying to be charming, you trying to be there. But when you're not there, you're totally off. You're totally a different person. And I feel this person is just letting things be right now because they're exhausted. And this person is hoping that they can move things forward, like, you know, from to move themselves out from this exhaustive um, energy or tiresome energy into some form of, into some better circumstances in life. Because this is truly tough. This person is feeling that it's just too much. <laughs> this is what this person is saying. Mm -hmm. But now I feel your, your person is actually ready to just um, direct, to get another direction in life that is for them is true, is good, and it's good for the situation, whatever that is. Yeah. Now your person is operating on a on the mental space, not much of emotional entanglements. They just want to move on from this. Um, I'm surely getting that this person feels that there's a lot of deception here. There's a lot of manipulation. And that in this in this um, connection, it just tired them. 
-hmm. Now they've gotten their... Now they have a better way of dealing with things. I feel that your person has gotten that re is pretty resolute that, you know, there are still better things than this. In a connection, if you want to be with someone, it must be better than what they have right now because whatever this is, it's keeping this person imbalanced, yeah? Trust is not here. You might not have given... Um, you know, a space for this person to be, uh, or at least in this connection, there wasn't enough ground to build the trust. Mm -hmm. And I feel that there's going to be some form of initiation, manifestation in this connection. Yeah, it's either you guys are trying to, but I don't see. Actually, I see that there are two different, there are two individuals here. Just, um, Possibly there is an attraction at some point, but more so you are on your corner, this person is, is in their corner. Yeah, and that this person right now is just holding off because they are too tired of all the, um, shall I say, BS that they feel they are getting from you. Or this could also go vice versa, okay? So they see that it's all words, and these words are not really backed up with actions, and therefore... It's keeping them stuck, and this person wants to move past this, some sort of deceptive um, entanglement. And they want to manifest new things. They want to manifest things that are working, manifest things that are... So it could very well be that they are manifesting you, if truth can be out here. But the thing is, you are also not clarified. There are, I feel that you are also having... Um, there's a lack of clarity on your side in terms of your current situation right now. For whatever reason, Aquarius, I am getting that you are undergoing some sort of distress here. Yeah? But in spite of that, you are also opening up your... your um, you could also be having some financial distress as well, as well as mental distress, I feel. But in spite of that, you are also connecting with other connections here. And that is the thing that this person is not um, able to grasp. Yeah? Because you might have told this person that no. You might have faced, you know, that truth to this person that no, I am not dating anybody. I am this, I am that, I am doing this, I am doing that. But all your, th those are words, those are thoughts words and thoughts but your action is actually showing a different thing and your person is pretty intuitive to see that to feel that and that is causing burden because what they hear and what they feel what they see is totally different that's the reason why this person is kind of moving on moving on into better circumstances in life I've gotten that sort of decision that if this doesn't pan out well, if there's no truth, there's no um, proper communication, no truthful communication, then they would take charge of their actions and their decision. Yeah, That's the king of swords. Somebody who would strategize and do things, but this is a move with integrity and with honesty. Mm -hmm. It's a dependable move. And there's that manifestation, starting new things, doing... Perhaps I feel that this person would start to do things on their own to manifest new things in their life, given the fact that it seems like there is no way. This is a stock energy right here in this connection. Let's see. What other message we can get for this connection? What do we need to know for Aquarius and their person? I think communication, Aquarius, and truthfulness is, is necessary here. And to think, you know, you are an air sign, you're very good at communication, but it must be that your actions and words must tie up. <laughs> okay? 
do something new, something different. Every notice how it's easier to fall in love and to be falling in love with when you're busy. Okay. So do something new, something different. Yeah. It's also, I feel that this is also a message. In this stock energy, if you feel that you are doing the same thing over and over again and then you're expecting a different outcome, then that's just not right. Yeah. If you keep on doing the same thing, you must expect the same results. Consistency. But if you feel like you're doing the same thing and you expect a different outcome, then that is just crazy expectation. And I feel that here, you're being encouraged to do something new because probably whatever you're doing right now doesn't seem to work anymore. Mm -hmm. Do something different. This could also be telling that you know, love shouldn't be this hard for both parties. Love shouldn't be this hard. Falling in love should be a good experience and then definitely relationship takes work, but if you work on it, if you put the right amount of effort into it, then that's where you see some, you know, in, in other relationships, it works. Okay, let's see. What other messages can we get from the person that you're dealing with? I'm afraid to take that next step right now. So I feel that your person is actually staying on their side, possibly because, you know, this this thinking that, you know, there should be better circumstances than this, this is what's hindering your person from making a move because there is no trust here. They might as well. There is, a, there is a, an energy here that, your person is hoping to, man you know, the outcome is that there's going to be somebody who's going to be manifesting new things in their life because it feels like whatever this is no longer works, that kind of energy. I'm going to be extending this reading and I'll be pulling in more cards to give us more insights with regards to this connection. If you want to follow me in the extended, the link is in the description box below. Otherwise, leave me comments and let me know how this resonates with you. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. As always, if this is Rory Potways, thank you for stopping by.